Today we are cooking my salo. But first of all, I want to thank you guys from the bottom of our hearts. Thank you so much to our subscriber for your love and support. We really appreciate it a lot. Even our viewers, thank you so much for leaving us a comment to improve ourselves, um, how we, we do our channel. And thank you so much for your love and support. Come on, let's start cooking. Now we're going to have in our yeast. It's the instant yeast. Tablespoon of sugar, teaspoon of salt, give it one a stir, Tablespoon of oil. <laughs> mm. And this is three cups of water. for eight to ten years guys you can see your dough coming together for one hour let it rise this is our ingredients for our rice salad for today there's our baby coconuts kara coconut water seiko sugar and water that's our ingredients for today now we're gonna soak the seiko gonna soak it and put it aside when it's time to cook it's nice and soft we're just gonna crack open our coconut so that's the juice Mommy. of the coconut this is our fresh coconut just got it from just come down from the coconut tree I, from my backyard. <laughs> mm. So we need to bring the, the meat from inside the coconut. Go get my my ex. <laughs> Katie, go get my shotgun. Baby, wash your hand. Come away from there. No. Wait until your daddy finishes cutting the thing. Wait, look. Look from here. Look. Daddy cutting it. He might hit you. Okay, wait here when I finish, then you go. Wait, watch, baby. No knife. Action. 
<laughs> Welcome back guys After three days of trying to hack the coconut <laughs> Lucky I got my shotgun in there <laughs> Now it's open now <laughs> Now we move our skin Ah, uh, the meat, sorry the meat Let's Just use a spoon guys Go get your own chair, baby. Go get your chair. Yeah, here, baby. Go scrape the skin in there. You want to taste, baby? Eat it. The, the meat, not the spoon. Eat the meat. She doesn't want to eat it. She want to touch it and see. What is it? Yummy? Mm. Mm. <laughs> mm. Mama, I could go and go. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. You're not eating it. I will quick walk on water. Yummy baby. Mm. <laughs> nice, eh? Mom, please. Ah, baby, you got sore ear. Huh? Sore ear. So we got our coconut meat here, guys. That's the white part of the coconut. I'm gonna put it in our blender. Gonna blend it, but not too small. Adding the juice, guys. Yeah. Let me check. 
Shakya. A little bit more. Mm. Yeah, I was seeking up. No. Just right, I come up. Mm. Mm. Consistent, I come up. Let's pour it away. Mm. So we add our blended uh, coconut. Choose the pot. So you can see, guys, a little bit thicker. We need more juice. That's why we got the coconut water. It's basically coconut juice. Spoil now, guys. We add our cycle. The cycle has been soaking in water, so it should be nice and soft. We we'll get to the foil again, guys. stirring guys otherwise uh, this one will be sticky on the bottom now, the reason why we got more uh, coconut water so when it thicks we use that one to uh, instead of water Guys, you don't want to burn by salo. Now we're gonna bring it to the sima, guys, and then we add the coconut cream, and then we have to sugar it. Adding our coconut cream, guys. That's one can. Should be alright. Sugar, oh, nice and sweet. Looks yummy.
that's how we make rice hello guys one of Samoan favorite dessert mm. you will see it everywhere in Samoa along the roadside people selling it very yummy some people like it hot some people like it cold So we got our dough here guys, the Vaisalo is Vela, but we need something to eat the Vaisalo with. So we're going to make some um, small bun rolls. Some um, bread rolls. I eat my salad. We'll have with our salad, guys. Finish, guys. Oh, yeah. <laughs> we finish. Si lo poco ya algo poco cama ya. Venga, venga, ese era yo. That's why you like me. Because of my hands, I'm good with my hands. That's why I like it a lot. That's what she said. Yeah, we cover it, guys, and let it rise for 30 minutes before we bake it. After 30 minutes, now we are baking our bun. 25 minutes, you bring it out, and we're gonna butter it with our egg. Now we're gonna put it back in for another five minutes. It's nicely baked. Ma. Now we're gonna put it on the, the rack to cool. Look inside, guys. So nice. Mm. Very nice. Now we're just gonna butter it. Mm. Nice and yummy. The butter. So we are cleaning our coconut shell. So we are going to use this one to eat our vaisalo inside. Just cutting on some of the outside of it. Just 
Masya Allah Oh ibu Kacik ini dah awak bayi salok Awak bayi salok is nicely cooked Hey, it's that cool bayi salok guys Oka Bayi fancy alfa ingat Eh, cinal a ingat Oleh bayi salok, look at that Oh Very nice Yo, mama. Asta, my son. Very good. My son, Bill. What's it? Hmm. Tastes good. Creamy. Hmm. It's what we are having for dinner tonight. My salo. That's our butter and our pig pan. That's what we are having for dinner tonight. Hi guys! Baby, you want some bread? Yeah. Huh? No, 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 no. Yeah, you can you want some? Yeah. Yeah. Mm. Mm. I'm not going to eat it. It's not a good one. Very nice. We used to be in a soccer team. The Baikuma soccer team. The girls one. Oh, not the boys one. She's so weird. Yeah. So we always take this one and sell it. So we get the money to buy our soccer uniform or to help us with the the bus fare for and it's it's a good money. So we always have we always take the coconut shell for we we just win it and then we sell it like that with the coconut shell. Mga kuwa ya, back in the island. Hmm. Wow, 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 wow. Hmm? I'm... Let me eat your bread. No. What? No I'm... what? No. Look. You're not even eating it. Mm. Yeah. I'm... Eat your food, my buddy. The hardest part is the climbing on the coconut. 
Right on the coconut tree upside mm. down. <laughs> Baby, oh wow. The way you want to get in my You find it in some more area. People set it on the side of the roof. Oh, yeah. Or they just walk around the people's houses. I'm going to go to the house. I'm going to go to the house. I'm going to go to the house. Yeah. Mom used to sell uh, yeah, fish. So you guys should follow mom's uh, bringing up. You have to sell the rice salo. You know the the the, the girl scout in New Zealand. They sell the cookie. Yeah. And so you guys wear like a, a uniform and go around. This is salmon girl scout. We're selling uh, rice salo. <laughs> My dad, my dad needs a helicopter, so we want to make some fun. Literally, if you go and sell stuff. Don't be ashamed of that. I'm not ashamed. What? I just don't want to go. No, no, no. <laughs> I don't want to go. I'm not ashamed. Remember I, I used to sell the... Not used to go. <laughs> I used to sell the um, chocolates had to go around the neighborhood. Why don't you wear a mask like Batman and... <laughs> They're probably going to think you're like, your mental. <laughs> and you, you know when we go at the sound, my family go and sell the fish? My mom and dad, they, they wave the basket. You know, ako sa buo, we nga le le kokonan di. A weave. Oh, a weave. A weave le basket. Le kokonan po nga. Yeah, makorolay. Then me and my sister, we go and sell the fish from Fakoia, Waisingango, Leone, all the way to a pier. It's at the back of, uh, for example, Waisi. All the way there to Kai and Vayala. That's where we always go and sell our fish around. $20 fish. It's like 20 fish or 15 fish on a on a, a, a week. But I was so happy, like, it ain't must have fear. No shame. No shame. No shame. Um, my man, and I were my father. We are a cow, they were like the wolf. And I see our mom and dad, they love for us. They never let us uh, go hungry. There's always food on the table. That's how, like, always I remember. I know you come up warm. Because when we see when we, we were young, like we always know that our dad and our parents do stuff for us, but they're doing their hardest. Yeah, our parents always do their hard to, for their love for us to do everything. Our the local committee, the Sunday school, they always I have a, a new offer. Or oh, Christmas, they always are, always love it. There's always a presence. Mommy. And they miss out uh, for a palumi, a palum, or a ball. 
What's that thing with the bed? Flight bed. <laughs> flight bed. Yeah. That's my favorite Joey flight bed with the, the ball hanging from the string. <laughs> that's my favorite one and my mom knows it. So every Christmas that's my favorite Joey. Or the balloon. It is over quite long, say twenty dollars. Okay. Ah, <laughs> That's why mom always buy you guys heaps of one dollar toy from the two dollar shop. You know we we laugh about it, but it's better you have That's a toy than yeah. nothing at all. That's why in New Zealand when we came, I go to the op shops like, but. It's like we say, no, no, no. you're going to a toy shop. It's all new to your eyes. Because you're getting used to getting whatever your mom and dad give you. And be thankful for it. <laughs> you know, I'm thankful. I'm thankful for mom. But I'm just huh? like, <laughs> she keeps looking at me. Oh, just waiting until Christmas comes on Sunday. <laughs> yeah, for our new On Sunday? Yeah, white Sunday. New autumn. Yeah. That's why. That's why in nowadays, they were for take their kids for granted, ma hua. But back in the island, you no. Know, Whatever your yeah. mom gives you, that's it. Be thankful for it. No, no. That's why I say to you guys, and if I pay kangi me kong ka, just kangi a oi pe kala deni, kangi o you lima you, you can afford anything if you put your mind to it. It's the same thing we try to teach them, like when they go somewhere, they turn on the lights and then they run and leave the lights on. Yeah. Because it's, it's, they're not responsible for the electricity and water and stuff. But when they had their own family, like the older ones, now we, we they went and start their rent. Oh, they I start to. <laughs> They, they started, started to complain. complain. <laughs> oh, too, but the electricity is too high, the water is too high. My older girls now, they complain about the bills. And like, my husband said, yeah, you see, now they know the life. <laughs> they have to earn it. <laughs> Before, we, they used to live with us. But now they have to pay the bills, pay the phone, pay the food, everything. They had to depend on themselves. That's what I say to you guys. Go to school and learn. Do your and what you <laughs> can use in your life. In your life. Oh. <laughs> That's why well, it's, true. it's good that you see us. Your 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 guys' parents is still alive. This is the only time for us to give you advice. Push you your to your best at school mm. because you only get younger once. Mm. You don't gonna be repeat seven, year seven and year five. No, you are gonna grow up and have your own family. Because what you you reap, yeah, what you call it, reap now from school. Yeah, that's your your life. Whatever job you gonna have what in the future. So is what you reap. Oh yeah, that's how, that's the same. It's part. about like when whatever you plant in the ground, if you look after it, it grows up really nice, yeah. and then that's what you get. So if you go to school, you you go and play around and just oh. eating lunch. Mm -hmm. At the end of the day, you haven't learned anything. Not even one. Uh, you know when I see, when I went to school and uh, people say, oh, there's this one kid in my classrooms always smart. Why? Why is that kid smart, not you? Why are you not smart as that kid? Because the, I think that kid is listening and learning and absorbing everything the teacher is saying. Mm. But you were just, your mind is mucking around, thinking about... Uh, Something else. What's that game you guys always play? No. What, what's that Minecraft. game? Minecraft. You guys are Minecrafting in school. <laughs> <laughs> This is the only time for you to to learn because the beginning of um, life, like 
Oh, wow. Learning and then when you grow up, you go to high school, you're still learning. And then by year, year 12, year 11, you're starting to know what you want to do. You're going to choose the subject and the stuff that you can do and you go at it. That's the thing for it. And then from then from young school upwards, some kids they will know what they're gonna do after high school. But I think it's like um, you just need to make a choice and choose what you want and what you can do. Because as parents, we just tell you to go and learn. But it's your choice because we are not going to be here forever. It's your life. Like our parents too. They're gone and now it's our turn for us to teach it to you guys. Baby, Sully. Thank you so much guys for visiting us today and hanging out with us. See you next time. Bye. Bye.